I've met some of the most beautiful human beings uh, uh, through crime writing. Some of the most amazing people that I've met in my entire life, not just in the past few years since I've, I've been published, um, are crime writers or, or just people somehow in the crime writing world. Sometimes I'm still the only person with such beautiful black skin in a room, but I don't feel it. Now that's because of the nature of people in this world. Yes, they do seem to be predominantly white and predominantly male. Uh, not in England though. In France it's, it's, it's more male, but in England it's more mixed, which I love. Now that said, publishing as a whole, um, there's not one specifically uh, established for seeking white authors, no. But there are many that are specifically built for minorities, for, you know, black, Asian, you know. Why? It's because there is a problem. There's a realization now that publishing hasn't been inclusive. It's not just publishing, it's, um, it's, it's show business, it's movies. There was a time not too long ago when the only black faces in movies were the maids, right? The help. We're getting more inclusive now. Not too long ago, we had the uh, uh, Oscar all white, or was, the, was it Oscar all Oscar white? Oscar so white. I Oscar think, so yeah. white. It took viral rage for that to be addressed. I like to think that publishing is not waiting until there's a huge outcry. I like to think that publishing has learned to see the work of every writer as equally valid, equally useful, and is given equal opportunity and not turning scripts away because a name on the manuscript doesn't sound English or doesn't sound Western or the book is set somewhere in a village in Oshun State and where is Oshun State? <laughs> where is that? You know. And also I, I would hope that at this point the gatekeepers, whoever they may be, editors, uh, agents, stop deciding for readers what readers would like. I'm not talking about the quality of the writing, but the subject, because we live in a, in a different world. People often wrongfully say, I believe they're very mistaken to say, oh, you know, the millennials, they don't read a lot. But no, they're more they're more culturally tuned than former generations. They're more aware. Um, yes, they are not doing the things we expect them to do, but they're finding their own way. They're making conscious decisions. And part of this conscious decisions they make is to be inclusive. This is something that you can see about the millennials. So we need to connect with them. We need to connect with the world that they are they're creating, the way they're interpreting the world now, the way they see the world, which is this more inclusive, more, more, more empathic world, you know, and stop deciding for them based on the lenses of the past.